Our focus and discussions in this time have centered around three key things and uh, things uh, that are also interrelated. The first one was uh, to find a neat solution to the liquidity issues that we face. The second one is addressing governance related matters as a matter of agency and releasing the ESCOM interim results on a going consent basis before the end of January. These challenges re required quick and decisive action. Although this cannot be entirely solve solved overnight, we believe that the steps that we have already taken are a first step to, amongst other things, inculcate a renewed culture of good governance and entrenching financial and business discipline as a foundation to restoring the credibility and integrity of this institution. ESCOM is facing significant financial challenges. But you have to understand where those challenges are coming from, those financial challenges. This is the outcome, the output of three major things. The first one, we're here where we are because of poor leadership across the whole spectrum of ESCO. Decisions that had to be taken were not taken. And now we're where we are. The second issue, again, Chair has touched on that, is the lack of corporate governance. There's a lack of integrity. When you talk to investors and fund managers, they want, uh, they want you to spend a bit more trying to justify the decision you're making or what you're telling them, because they have to sense it and decide whether they want, is it worth their while to believe you. We are, alre we are always on the news for wrong reasons. And the liquidity issue that the chairman has highlighted is the outcome of that. We reached a stage where the funders felt that they could no longer engage with ESCOM. The third issue is capital structure of the balance sheet of this institution. So the first one is poor leadership, corporate or lack of corporate governance, and the third one is the capital structure or the balance sheet. This has been the challenge with this institution for some time. But, but because of the two other factors there on top, we are now facing severe challenges. And we have reached a stage where it's becoming clearer to all of us that the sustainability of ESCOM cannot be achieved through borrowing. 